Hello Dynamics developers. So now we will see the uh, form customization continue. Here uh, we'll discuss about the quick create form and I will show you a demo of the how to create the quick create form. So by default in the system, uh, we'll have the uh, few entities where the quick create form will be enabled. And these are the entity like account, uh, campaigns, response, case, competitors, contact, uh, lead, opportunity, and activity. These are the entity in the out of the box system uh, where the quick create form will be enabled. However, if you want to enable the quick create form our own custom entity, we can do that. So before that, we'll go for the demo. Uh, we will have some theory, we'll go for that. So the quick create form we can enable for the custom entity. But when we enable for the custom entity, then we cannot use the create button. I mean the new button from the command bar of the home screen or the form of the entity. So entity will have the main form there, right? On that will have the new button from there. So we cannot open the quick create form from those buttons. However, if you want to use that uh, uh, quick create form, then we have to use the new button from this subgrid. So we'll have this subgrid and there we'll have the button called add new record. And from there, if you want to add the new record, then we can add the quick create form for those buttons. But we cannot add the quick create for the uh, on the command bar or the navigation bar where we can have the new create new button record there. Okay, from there we cannot add that one. So this is uh, something we should understand that one. Okay, now coming to the uh, like how many we can have the quick create form. We can have the multiple quick create form for one entity, but uh, by using the form order, uh, the, the form which is at the top, that entity, that form only can have the default form where whenever we will add, use the add new record button there. So only the first form which we have when we align the order, which is at the first form as a quick create form, that form only will be used, it will be used for all the user to create the new record. So with that we can design, uh, so that we can set using the form order for the uh, quick create forms. And also since when you have multiple forms and you are thinking that you can switch from one form to another form, it will not happen. Unlike in the main form, we can switch from one form to another form when we have the security privilege or role assigned to you. It's based totally based on the security role assigned to the user. And with that role, uh, we can, you know, we can navigate to the different forms in the from the main form but in the case of the quick create form we cannot navigate there will be you will have only one quick create form at a time and you will be using by it will be using by all the users who is trying to create the new record from this subgrid okay so means uh, 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 here is simply trying to say is we cannot switch to between the two quick create form unlike the main forms Okay, in the form design, when you are designing the quick create form, so you will have the one section and you will have the three columns, uh, three columns there by default. And if you want to add the new section, you cannot add that. You cannot add the new column also. However, you have to design your quick create as per that what is coming there. Okay. And also, as I mentioned uh, before, uh, that you cannot have the security role assigned to the quick create form. So you just remember, you cannot add the security role to the quick v form and quick create form. The security roles can be assigned to the main forms. And inside the main form, we can navigate from the one main form to another another main form when that particular security role is assigned to you. Okay. But in case of quick create form or in the quick view form, you we cannot navigate. It it will be using one form at a time, but the which is having the the as per the form order which is at the top level that form will be used as a default uh, view default forms for your views and for your uh, sorry not for the views it will be used for your create for the case of views we can select the particular view or particular view form which we want to display okay so this was the small theory about that now we will we'll see the demo of the quick create form Okay, 
so here i have logged into my dynamics and this is my app here here i have login so i have the uh, uh, entity called student on the entity student student i am having the lookup of the uh, subgrid uh, I, i'm sorry i'm having the subgrid of the entity called student course and here when i click this new add new button uh, then we can uh, it will navigate me to create the new record so by default you can see when i'm going to add the new student uh, new student course then it will it is navigating me to the main form here right it's not navigating me to add the quick uh, quick create form here in the sidebar okay unlike from the in the out of the box like account contact when you go when you create from this uh, sub grid then you will have that option right adding that one so uh, i want to i want to design this one i want to uh, create the new student course using the quick create form here okay so also remember when you're going to uh, add the new uh, student course uh, then you can see on this uh, on this uh, student entity uh, sorry student course here entity you will have the new buttons here on this subgrid when you go to the student course here you will have the new button here you cannot use these buttons for your quick create form you cannot use that one you cannot use the button from your form forms and you cannot use a button from your home screens okay only it can be used from your subgrades for your custom entity okay so i will be uh, i will be showing you the demo of this so for that i have uh, logged into my solution and i have opened my uh, solution working solution so here uh, this is my target entity which i want to create as a quick create okay so here inside this uh, uh, ent uh, entity form I will I will have to create the new quick create form. But before that, uh, any entity which you want to enable as a quick create, you have to go to the entity information here, and then inside below you will find the allow quick create. This checkbox you have to enable. When you allow this one, then this entity will be you know eligible to create the new record as a from the quick create. So I'm going to allow this and I'll save this. It will take some time. Okay, so I have saved this. Now I will go to my forms and I will create the new form from here. So I am going to create the new form from here. So I will take the new quick create. Okay. Okay, so now you can see here on the quick create form, it is, it is giving you the one tab. Inside the one tab, it is having uh, three sections and with one column. Okay, and also uh, you don't have the header and footer and the navigation, so it is not required. And because it is used to create the record with the uh, details of your body, so this is the body section of the form. And okay, and here you can insert the spatial and timer if you want, but you do you can't insert anything. You can see you don't have much details to be inserted, unlike the main form. And also, uh, you can use some form properties, and you can if you have any field added here, you can change the properties of that. So here, uh, I will be adding the couple of field here to care that. So first of all, I'll take the uh, uh, a student name uh, which student we are going to uh, create the uh, student course then i will have the uh, lookup of this subject okay then i will have the uh, name or uh, name i can give here then i will give the cycle also then i will have the description and is completed so couple of fields i have added here which will be uh, which i which we uh, which i will be filling while creating the new student course okay i'll save and publish
so my form is published i'll close this now i will go to the my now i will go to the strength here and here uh, uh, i can use uh, means uh, uh, when i'll create the new record of this student then uh, i will be having the uh, quick create form for the strength course here so uh, i'll go to the my uh, dynamics here i'll refresh this okay now i'll open the uh, new student here and then I'll go to the course and then add new student. Now you can see this is the quick create form which we have created for a student course. It is displaying here. Now we can create the record form here. So I hope now you have understood how to create the quick create form and you can attach to the subgrid. I hope uh, you have understood it and thank you for watching this video guys.